Let's talk about chiral centers in chair conformations when we don't have a model kit available to us to use and we're having trouble seeing the perspective from just the chair configuration. So the best way to do this is to convert the chair conformation back into a skeletal structure and we just start with, well, a six-membered ring and a six-membered ring, okay? And by nomenclature, um, or just to keep track of everything, we can number our ring 1, 2, dichloro there, and keep that 1, 2 that we numbered, since we're going clockwise, let's keep that clockwise in our skeletal structure. So we're going to keep those the same. If we numbered it 1, 2 counterclockwise, just keep it consistent between the two structures um, counterclockwise if you'd chosen to do that. Again, this is more to keep track of where our positions are more than it is to, um, to name the compound. We're trying to find R and S here. So after we do that, we've got that done. Now our ups are going to be wedged, our downs are going to be dashed. So any corner that points up on a chair conformation, here, here, and here, those are all going to be axial up. Any corner pointing down is an axial down, and so there's always three axial downs. Okay, so the down positions are here, here, and here and the axial up positions we see are here, here, and here. And relative to the plane of the ring, the equatorial positions are just opposite the axials. For example, if we're axial up, we're going to be uh, equatorial down here. So whatever's equatorial is opposite of the axial. Well, once we've got our ups and downs identified, where's up, wherever axial's up on the corners, and then Oh, and then where's down, wherever axial's down in the corners, and then we're opposite with the equatorial position at each of those positions. So let's look back at our original structure now that we've kind of reviewed chair conformations here. Let's look at our structure. Well, this chlorine is axial up, and ups are wedged. And so we're going to, at position one, we labeled that position one earlier, we're going to call that a chlorine up. And then at position two, this is an axial down, so that means the chlorine is an equatorial up. Well, ups are wedged as well. So this compound is actually meso because of the plane of symmetry we have here, but now it's pretty easy to, to name it with R and S because we know group four is back in each of these positions already because they're hydrogens, they're dashed, they're down in each of these. Downs are dashes, and so we just number one to two, to three. Group four is already back. This one's R. And then we know it's meso, so we could go ahead and call the other one S because we know that about meso compounds. They have an internal mirror which reflects R to S. But if we forgot that, we could just as easily say carbon, if we're talking about this chiral center separately now, position uh, group one is the highest atomic number. Carbon to chlorine beats carbon to carbon and then hydrogen's back in group four, one, two, three, that's S.